It's time for the Funky Kids Show with your host, Winston Chim, the Mr. Beast of the computer world. Hey guys, and welcome to another live show, the Funky Kids Show Live on the 24th of February. Hey guys, welcome to the show. We're just getting the streams up and running. We should be live on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. We're just getting the streams up and running. If you have any audio issues or video issues, let me know. I'll try and fix that. But uh, yeah, we've got a fantastic lineup for you guys today. Some live prize giveaways for all our Twitch subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber of Twitch already, head over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe for a chance to win the MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard. Welcome to the show, guys. The Funky Kids Show Live with your host, Winston. That's me. Yes, we're just getting the streams up and running. We should be good on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Welcome, Sea of Names. All right. Okay, let's bring up the agenda. That's all we have for the 24th February. We are, of course, we're going to do the news and updates on our website, Funky Kit, as well as MD3D. And uh, we're going to do an unboxing video of the Asus Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi Fi motherboard. And after that, we've got Rig Builder, uh, our system configurator developed by my brother Yao, a fantastic tool for you guys to get some uh, prices off Amazon. And of course, we've got our usual weekly uh, special, the Mods of the Week, taken from our Extreme PC modding group, uh, where we have over 94,000 members. Thanks, guys, for joining. And of course, it's a great place to get some modding ideas, or if you have any mods that you want to post, head over there, start posting your mods for everyone to see. Uh, we're going to take a break after that, and we'll come back with uh, motherboards are supporting uh, 48 gig, 96 gig, and 192 gig RAM. That's unusual. Normally we see like 8 gig, 16 gig, 32, 64, 128. But now we see motherboards now with the new BIOS updates on most motherboards now that can support uh, 48 gig, 96 gig, and 192. Strange. But anyway, we'll talk a little bit about that. And of course, we've got the uh, uh, prize giveaway for our special uh, you know, subscribers. Uh, this is for... Uh, all our subscribers on Twitch. So if you're not a subscriber already, head over to twitch.tv slash and subscribe for a chance to win the MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard live today on this show. And uh, we'll be doing a um, wheel to decide and find out who the winner is live on our show today. So make sure you subscribe. Head over to twitch.tv slash and subscribe for a chance to win this. You have to be, of course, tuning into the show for that. All right. And then we got some uh, more prize giveaway announcements, and uh, we we'll do another live prize giveaway, of course. Our merchandise, our funky merchandise, a nice t shirt there, hoodies, and baseball caps, whatever. Um, so, yeah, we'll do another live prize giveaway, and then we'll wrap it up with next week's preview. All right, so that's the agenda for today. Uh, special lineup for you guys, fantastic prize giveaways. So, welcome, Scumberg, Aries 25, Veneer, Jarek, hey, welcome. All right, so let's start the show off. So for you guys just joined, welcome to the show, the Funky Kids Show live on the 24th of February. Okay, guys. Okay, let's take a look at some of the uh, news announcements and, of course, reviews that we've done in the past week. Let's take a look. Let's head over to the website. Here we go. And uh, we'll look at some of the reviews that we've done this past week. Okay, it's loading up now. And I think we've got a couple of things um, that we did on the review side. We did the, uh, I think the Noctua cooler. So you could take a look at that. This is it, the Noctua cooler. We'll start with this one here. The Volt Me Revo 140. So 140 watts uh, power delivery 3.1 uh, gallium nitride charger. So this one um, is suitable for powering up your uh, notebooks, laptops, MacBooks, and things like that. And also, of course, uh, tablets and mobile phones and things like that. So. Uh, what's so special about this is that it has 140 watt power deliveries. That means it can power up some of the high-end laptops, such as the one I'm using, the Zephyrus, uh, Zeus Zephyrus uh, G14. And that has a Ryzen 9 5900HS processor along with uh, a built-in onboard GeForce RTX 3060. So it's a powerful laptop and it actually can power it with the USB-C power connector for power delivery. Um, it has two ports on the USB-C. One can give you 140 watts 
uh, power delivery 3.1 and the other USB-C port can give you power delivery 3.0 up to 100 watts. So you have plenty of charging options there. It also has the USB-A, which gives you uh, 22 watts of power and uh, that can charge mobile phones, tablets and things like that. So it is a pretty decent uh, charger. It's not a power bank, by the way. It's just a charger and uh, it's compact, it's small. You can actually take that with you for traveling, for example. And this is what I'll be using when I'm on the move as well. Uh, very nice, compact. Gives you the extra power that you need for uh, traveling, powering all your laptops and devices. Here you go. That's my laptop there uh, with a Ryzen 9. It's a 5900HS processor and has the GeForce RTX 3060. So it's a pretty beefy power supply um, laptop, you know, with spec wise, and it requires a lot of power. And with the power delivery on the USB C, it actually does power the laptop up no problem. The only problem is that it doesn't give you the turbo option. So, in other words, your processor and your graphics card is not running at the overclock speeds, if you, if you know what I mean. But it will run fine, no problem. And uh, yeah, when you plug it in, it gives you this little option on here. It'll uh, display it says on PD power delivery. And that's the, yeah, the turbo option is not available. So uh, it gives you the Windows mode, silent or performance, but it doesn't give you the turbo, which is the kind of overclocked options to give you that extra speed on your processor. But yeah, this one's not bad actually, $99. So go and check it out. Um, this is the power delivery charger that I'll be using while I'm traveling. It's very compact. I love it. It's really nice. Okay, let's see what else we have. We also have this one here, the Noctua NHL9 AM5 uh, cooler. So this one is the uh, the black version, the Chromax Black. And you can see it's a very low profile cooler and uh, the reviewer Bart here, he's actually mounted onto a mini ITX board. You can see that very nice compact. Uh, being Noctua, of course, um, is usually beige and brown, right? But this is the Chromax black version, so it's black fans. Very silent, very nice. Uh, $45 roughly, not bad. Noctua being Noctua, it's, it's all, they've always been really good with the coolers, air coolers, especially air coolers. Super silent. Um, very nice. Go check it out. He's mounted it onto a uh, AMD AM5 socket. So they have the Intel version, of course. Uh, they've been around for for a while. This is the uh, AM5 version, where I think it's just changing the brackets, the mounting brackets. So check that out. And we also did the the review on the uh, uh, J5 Create, uh, 108 watts power delivery this is a charger but also it's a power pack so i regard that as more of a uh, a power pack replacement so yeah you can take it with you traveling and stuff like that but it's it's a bit blockier you can see it's uh you've got the wire attached and everything um usb a port for charging mobile phones and also has a usb c port for charging other uh, devices so this one uh, I've got for fifty dollars, fifty five dollars, fifty nine dollars. Again, same thing. Plugs into the power delivery. There's a USB A port, two point four uh, amps. So I'll power up your mobile devices and things like that. There's a twenty watt power delivery for tablets and other devices. So it's it's decent enough. I, I regard this as more of a uh, you know power pack replacement. Um, so. And I use this for my dock as well. I have a mobile dock, which I use as a, a laptop stand, and that powers up that up and no problem at all. Again, same thing, because it's power delivery on the USB 3, uh, a USB-C port, it only gives you um, the standard kind of power. It doesn't give you the turbo as well. So same thing here, a turbo option is not op available on the uh, gaming laptop there. But everything else works fine. $59. You can't go wrong with that. Very nice. So go and check that out, the v review. And uh, see what else we have on the review side. Uh, these are, those are the reviews that we've done in the past week, yeah. So 
Other reviews include the Genesis Krypton Triple Five RGB mouse. We also have the uh, Acer Predator GM Seven One Terabyte P uh, P PCIe SSD M.2. Uh, there's the uh, Thermaltake Series Five Hundred case that we did the chassis, and then uh, we got ASRock Z790 live mixer boards and things like that. So yeah, go and check it out. Lots of reviews on our website. As far as uh, news items is concerned, we've got some uh, interesting news. Oh, G-Skill's doing the uh, World Cup OC 2023 competition. Hmm, interesting. I'm guessing the uh, the prize winner will probably end up going to Computex this year. That's interesting. Uh, Team Group are launching their M.2 PCI-5 SSD. Uh, there's also the Gigabyte version. The Gigabyte is, is uh, Aorus. Uh, I think it's called the 10,000 PCI Gen 5 with the massive heat sink. So that's coming out as well. We're seeing M uh, PCI 5 SSDs coming out this year. So we're going to be seeing a lot of those. And uh, I'm interested to see if I can get one for our test rig and see how the performance will look. So I think we're looking good. Uh, news announcements again. Lots of motherboard manufacturers are announcing their support for um, the uh, diff well the new memory capacities right 48 gig 96 gig 192 so we'll see a lot more motherboard announcements motherboard manufacturers announcing their support for that okay and i think the other announcements was intel releasing their new uh, xenon or xeon xenon xeon xeon processors the server uh workstation processors so we're seeing some of those announcements there all right Okay, so lots of news announcements on the uh, website. Go and check it out. Reviews as well. And we did a couple of uh, unboxing videos. So we did the uh, the ASRock B650E ITX, mini ITX board. Uh, we also did the review uh, unboxing of the Vault Me Revo 140. And another one, the um, Z790, ASRock Z790 mini ITX board as well. So lots of unboxing videos to check it out as well. Okay, so that's the news announcements on our website. Go and check it out. Like and share, of course. All right, let's have a look at the chat and see what's going on. All right. Hey, Big Radio, welcome to the show. Aki Ritchie, JD, Sweetie Balls. <laughs> sea of names. More people available to win the prize now. <laughs> hey, guys, welcome. Okay. So next up, um, we're going to do the next part, and that's the uh, news announcements on AMD 3D, our sister site. It's uh, all about AMD-related topics, uh, whether it's Radeon, Ryzen's, Threadrippers, gaming news, Xboxes, PS5s, and things like that. So uh, let's take a look. Um, new era begins with the... Firaxis Games, AMD D707 Radeon GPU board design spotted. So will we be seeing a new Radeon um, version? I don't know. Uh, they've only kind of uh, announced their 7900 uh, XT and XTX. I think it was no late November, December time. Um, uh, cards available now, I think. But... Uh, it's who knows they might release a new board a new graphics card okay state of play sony announces state of play some new uh games there suicide squad gran turismo 7 update with uh psvr2 upgrade new five new cars um so some news announcements of games stuff like that so you want to check that out um, AMD reducing the prices of all uh, Ryzen 7000 series. So if you were one of the guys uh, late last year who bought the 7000 series, whether it be 7900, the 7900, 7950, 7800, then um, they released reducing those prices there because, of course, the new versions the, the with the 3D V cache will be uh, available, I think, next month. Or they're already available right now, I think. So the 3DV cache will improve some gaming performance, I guess. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a huge performance boost, but um, 
something like you know if you are going to get the 7000 series amd processors then um guess go for the x3d versions the 3db cache all right so mostly just gaming news and that nothing much happening there so but do check out some of the news items on funky kit as well as amd 3d for the latest news and updates and of course reviews as well all right Hey guys, welcome to the show, the Funky Q Show Live with your host Winston, that's me. We've got some fantastic prizes to give you, or, well, of course, with our uh, Twitch subscribers. So head over to twitch.tv slash funkyq and subscribe for a chance to win this. This is the, uh, yes, the uh, MAG, the MSI MAG B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi on the board. We're going to give one of these away live on the show today. Make sure you subscribe. Head over to twitch.tv slash and subscribe for a chance to win this. You need to be a subscriber. This is only available for our Twitch subscribers. All right, guys. Okay, so with that said, then let's move on to the next part. And we're going to take a look at the unboxing of the Zeus uh, Tough Gaming B650 plus Wi-Fi motherboard. So take a look at this and we'll be back after that. Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be doing a quick unboxing of the Asus Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. This motherboard is aimed at the casual gamer and the first time system builder and features AMD's B650 chipset uh, supporting all of the latest AMD Ryzen 7000 series of processors. Let's take a look at the box and see what it says. It features a 12 plus 2 power stage design and is rated to handle up to 60 amps. So that gives you extra stability. That's pretty cool. Uh, it also supports memory speeds of up to DDR5 6400 OC. It comes with a Realtek 2.5 gigabit LAN as well as Wi-Fi 6. So that's uh, enough for most connections there. And for storage, you have one PCIe 5 uh, Gen 5 M.2 SSD slot, as well as two additional PCIe 4 M.2 uh, slot 3 SSDs. It also comes with one PCIe 4 uh, Time 16 slot, which is plenty enough for most graphics cards, and uh, one PCIe Time 16 slot, and also two additional PCIe 4 times one slot. For USB connectivity, it comes with a USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 as well as the Gen 1 and uh, of course DisplayPort and the usual HDMI. It also comes with all of the usual tough gaming features including the uh, Safe Slot Core Plus and Safe Dim, the ESD Guard, the Tough Land Guard and uh, Stainless Steel uh, Back I.O. Panel. We'll be testing this motherboard using an AMD Ryzen 9 7900X along with a GeForce RTX 3090 and see how it performs. So let's start the system build, but before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the Asus Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. It supports all of the uh, latest Ryzen 7000 processors. Comes with Wi-Fi 6, uh, Aura Sync, and the uh, ARGB Gen 2. All right, let's take a look inside the box. Okay, we have the user guide. On this side, we have the uh, Wi-Fi antennas. Yeah. Okay, let's take the motherboard out and. Uh, have a look at the accessories. Okay, we have the ASUS web store information, a certificate of reliability, a driver's disc, and some tough gaming stickers. Nice. Uh, we also have two sets of the uh, M.2 screws and a pad for your M.2 and one pair of the uh, SATA cables. All right, so those are the accessories. We'll take a look at the, uh, the motherboard itself. And here we have the motherboard. It comes with a, uh, a nice gloss finish. 
And let's have a look at the back. It's got a nice uh, pattern here. And the uh, back plate for your AM5 socket. Okay. Here we have the uh, AM5 socket. And some nice large heat sinks for your VRMs, the MOSFETs, along the left and on the top here. Here we have the uh, 8 pin and 4 pin PCI power connectors for your motherboard. Make sure you connect those up. And then we have uh, three fan headers, uh, two ARGB connectors at the top right here. Then we have the 24 pin ATX power connectors, USB 3, and the Type E for your uh, USB. And four SATA ports for your SSDs. We got one more fan header here and then along the bottom here we have the usual pinouts and headers for your reset and power on switches another fan header two usb connectors here and more argb headers another fan connector audio output and stuff like that here we have the audio chip and some nice heat sinks here and here for your M.2 SSDs. All right, let's take a look at the uh, PCIe slots. We have two 16 pin PCIe slots here. These are PCIe 4, by the way, and two times one PCIe 4 slots here. And for your DIMM slots, we have four DDR5 DIMM slots supporting speeds of up to DDR5 6400OC. All right, and then let's take a look at the I/O. Okay, we'll start off at the left here. We have a Display Port and HDMI, USB 3.2 and the Type C here. There's four USB 3.2s, and here we have a BIOS. Uh, Port here so you can connect your USB with the BIOS update a 2.5 gigabit LAN so more USB 3.2s and the type C the Wi-Fi 6 connectors for your antennae and an array of audio connectors here there's also a BIOS flashback button here interesting and that's pretty much it I like the uh, design it's quite nice got this nice tough gaming branding here and a very nice large heat sink as well all right so we'll be uh, mounting this onto a test rig and using the ryzen 9 7900x along with some nice ddr5 ram as well to see how it performs all right so that was a quick unboxing of the zeus tough gaming b650 plus wi-fi motherboard Although the ASUS Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi is designed for the casual gamer and first-time builder, it offers an amazing set of features with performance to match. Utilizing AMD's B650 chipset is suitable for all of the latest Ryzen 7000 series of processors and supports DDR5 RAM with speeds of up to DDR5 6400OC. It also supports AMD Expo memory profiles as well as some mild overclocking. 
However, it does lack some of the enthusiast features found on the higher-end X670E motherboards. Still, it's worthy to note that this motherboard does come with plenty of features that's more than enough for most gamers. During our tests, we used an AMD Ryzen 9 7900X processor along with the GeForce RTX 3090 graphics card. We managed to pull some decent scores in all of our benchmarks, including a Cinebench score of 28,691 multi-core and 1,960 single-core. For PC Mark 10, we got a score of 9,585 and a score of 8,217 for Pass Mark 9. For UL's latest Procyon photo editing benchmark, we got a score of 10,540 and 8,225 for the video editing suite. For 3 d Mark Speedway and Port Royal, we got a score of 5,163 and 12,956 respectively. And finally, for Time Spy and Fire Strike, we got a decent score of 18,338 and 40,157 respectively. Aimed at the casual gamer and first time builder, the ASUS Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi Fi not only offers plenty of features, but also decent performance to match. You get all of this for under $250, which is pretty amazing to say the least. You can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it. That was a quick look at the ASUS Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard featuring the B650 chipset supporting all of the latest AMD Ryzen 7000 series of processors. It comes with a load of features with performance to match, all for the price of under $250. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for Funky.com. Hey, what's up? Hey guys, welcome back. Yes, hope you enjoyed that. That was a quick unboxing of the Zeus Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi Fi motherboard. So it's a fairly decent board. You can check out the full review on our website, Funky Kit, as well as the video on our YouTube channel there. Um, but we're to, giving in the uh, prize giveaway for today live on our show for all our Twitch subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber already, head over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe and you'll be in for a chance to win this. The uh, MSI Mag B650 Tomhawk Wi-Fi motherboard. I'm going to start the uh, prize giveaway right now. So let's play that little jingle from Pig Radio. So thank you, Pig Radio. Yes. <laughs> That's right, uh, call me the Mr. Beast of the computer world. And we're giving away live on our show for all our Twitch subscribers, the MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi on the board. I'm going to start that prize giveaway right now. And we have probably about an hour. Uh, yeah, we'll do that now. So here we go. We have an hour for this. So you have plenty of time, guys. Head over to uh, twitch.tv slash funkit. Give us a subscribe and follow the command in the chat for a chance to win this fantastic motherboard. And again, this is only available for Twitch subscribers only. So this is a premium prize. And we thought, okay, uh, this is something that, you know, just to say thank you for you guys for subscribing. So the, uh, the, the prize giveaway started. Head over to twitch.tv slash funky. Give us a subscribe and join in the command in the chat there. Type in the command for a chance to win this. And we will announce the winner in an hour's time. Uh, while that's happening, let's move on to the next part, and that is our rig builder. So let's take a look. Head over to rig builder right now, and this is it, the rig builder right here. And you can see that's uh, available on the top left-hand corner here, and you can see rig builder. So let's take a look at that. It's our system configurator developed by my brother Yao. Fantastic tool for you guys to get some uh, prices off Amazon. So all you need to do is fill in some bits in the criteria there. Uh, workstation or gaming, we'll go gaming, and we're gonna select a budget of say, I don't know, 1800. 
uh, we're gonna go with um, I think we go with AMD this time and we'll go with Nvidia and we'll hit the submit button and after that it will come up with some prices taken from Amazon and we'll see what it comes up with all right here we go so based on that criteria of 1800 AMD processor and Nvidia graphics card we've got this one the system has actually come up with the uh, Ryzen 7 5800 uh, X 3D so that's a very decent uh, processor there I think if you want to go with the uh, Ryzen 7 7700X that's fine as well uh, but the 3DX is fine okay so with this board uh, you need the uh, the which one is it there you go B550 yeah so you need the B550 or the X570 so it hasn't got the X570 it has the B550 that's fine so you can select that now if you go for the uh, 7000 series then you need the uh, the 650 board so depends on which processor you're going to go for so we're going to go with this process here is the AM4 socket and uh, you'll need a B550 board for that so that's fine I might actually go for this one yes Azus ROG Strix yeah go for this one here I think well the Taichi version looks good I'll leave it at that all right moving on to the graphics card we selected Nvidia so we got the GeForce uh, 3070s here 36 Ti's I think the 3070 looks good I like the white version there very nice so I'll leave it at that uh, moving on to memory we got uh, we need DDR4 for this one so it only comes up with DDR5 DDR4 any DDR4 it's all DDR4 RAM there DDR5 all right so only DDR5 oh yeah only DDR5 RAM here all right we need to fix that uh, with that, then oh, we'll probably go for this one for now. DDR4 RAM. Of course, you can go back and change the uh, configuration later. We've got Corsair, uh, Team Group, XPG, and this is the uh, PCI4 SSDs. And uh, something like the Corsair looks good. Yeah, MP600. I'll, one terabyte. I'll leave it at that. All right, moving on to power supplies, we have a thousand watt from this uh, ARS game, Segotep, strange, Red Dragon, Azus ROG, 650, Silverstone, 650, okay. Oh, okay, we'll go for this one and we'll leave it at that thousand watt. I think that's good, 80 plus gold. We've got cases here, Corsair, Be Quiet, NZXT. I like the NZXT, I'm gonna select that. All right. So you can check out some of the list of items there. And what I like about Rig Builder is that you can actually hover the uh, mouse over the text or the price. So if, for example, if I click on that, it'll open a new page and it will go into the detail of the product in more detail, which is great because you can actually check out the prices, check out the specs and things like that. So that's something I like about Rig Builder is actually, you know, you can hover over the text or the price and it will go into the product in more detail, which is great. Okay. So once you're happy with that list, all you need to do now is hit the buy all button and it will take you to a summary page like this, showing you all the uh, prices and everything. And everything that is in stock will be listed. Everything that's not list in stock will be listed at the bottom here. So it looks like um, everything's in stock, which is great. And all you need to do now is hit the uh, add cart and it'll take you to the shopping cart where you can actually check out, which is great. Again, you can remove any of the items and you can actually add your own uh, in the checkout bin um, but then you know that's something which is I think gives you an idea of the pricing uh, taken from the rig builder which is great so for you guys if you want to check out rig builder it's on the top left hand corner on our website uh, please use it share it and leave any comments report any bugs and things like that later on in the year we will be adding more items in there such as uh, memory sizes capacities of uh, SSDs and power supply uh, capacity as well, the size of the power supplies. So we can add um, fine tune your searches, which is great. So that's rig build for you. Hope you enjoyed that. Okay, moving on. Let's have a look. What's happening with the chat? Everybody's joining the uh, the prize giveaway again. Um, today we, on our live show, we're giving away the MSI Mag B650 uh, Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard, and we have it right here. So guys.
This is only available for Twitch subscribers. So uh, head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit and subscribe for a chance to win this. It's already announced uh, on our chat. So uh, follow the instructions for uh, entering the competition, the prize giveaway, and we will announce the winner in an hour's time. Well, actually, about 40 minutes time now. Yeah, for 50 minutes time. And uh, stay tuned for that. Okay, so while that's happening, uh, I can see the entries coming in. Thanks, guys, for participating, and thank you for subscribing. So you guys, uh, whoever just joined, welcome to the Funky Show Live. We have uh, a nice prize giveaway for all our Twitch subscribers. So if you're not a, a subscriber on Twitch, head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit and subscribe for a chance to win this. The MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi on the board. All right. Next up. Yes, you got it. It's our weekly special. Yes, it's, it's the time for Funky mods Kits mods of the week. Of the week. Yes, taken from our extreme PC modding group where we have over 94,000 members. Thanks guys for joining. It's a great place to get some modding ideas or if you have any mods that you want to post, head over there start posting your mods for everyone to see. So we're going to head over there right now and take a look at the uh, mods of the week. All right, here we go. So just load up the page. Here we go. We have 94.6 thousand members. Thank you guys for joining. And uh, moving on, let's uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, mods. That uh... oh, this is a nice build. I'm not going to play it because the music will just explode, be too loud. Um, but yeah, it's a nice build. I like I like the uh, I like the ring fans. Well, not ring fans. They're like uh, fans with. LEDs, I guess, on the graphics card. Yeah, the Gigabyte does one of these. Yeah. They look good. That's standard build. All right, moving on. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Oh, this is a nice, clean build. Let's take a look. Let's take a closer look. Oh, it's a bit blurry, this one. All right, it's a bit better. Uh, it's got the uh, RAM in there. It looks like Corsair RAM, very nice. Azus Prime motherboard looks like. Some nice uh, RGB fans and the RTX graphics card in there. White one from Zotac and a white case, white theme build. So fairly decent build, decent looking build. Uh, conquer all on that. Very nice build, nice clean build. I like it. So, you know, again, it's not a mod, but it's a nice build. So a nice clean build, I'll give it a seven. This is the one photo the guys just finished uh, with the water cooling. Let's take a closer look. All right, so this one, uh, very clean. Uh, this is the height case, right? Yeah, height by 60 case. Got the blue coolant pump and everything. Got the EVGA graphics card there. Um, I tell you what, uh, if you own an EVGA graphics card, keep hold of it because they're going to be worth something because they they don't make those graphics cards anymore right or they've stopped producing graphics cards so um yeah they'd be like a, a collector's item i suppose yeah very clean build nice water loop um accessible ram mm, it's blocked a little bit but i think it's just about accessible i think this one is the tubing for the graphics card so should be enough room there and um, strama cable for the uh power extension there I'll I'll give this uh, I'll give this an eight. Nice clean build. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. All right, moving on. Uh, this one again, one photo. Can't really see much. Just one photo, but all right. It's got the uh, thermal take uh, water block with the temperature sensor, LED display, and uh, distro plate in the front there. Uh, unusual bands like this normally they're kind of um, straight and this was uh, an unusual band there oh we got the team group T force SSDs Delta ones you got three of them with the LED RGB um, they got dominator RAM there from the uh, course uh, so it's again a decent bill it's decent water loop um, not kind of mine style but it's it's okay it's, it's decent enough I'll, I'll give this a i'll give this an eight as well i'll give this an eight 
Okay, the guys painted the uh, headphones. I'm guessing. Did he paint them? But he's painted some matching colors. But yeah, there's no build finished yet, so we'll skip that part. All right, Iron Man themed build. I don't think I've seen this one. I've seen many Iron Man builds, but I haven't seen this one. I don't think. Okay. Uh, the gold color could have been a bit more gold, I guess. It looks like a dirty yellow. Okay. Uh, decent enough. It's an all-in-one. You can see that there. Um, these gold clamps looks pretty decent. And the arc reactor uh, water block, or I would say arc reactor add-on that you can put on top of the water block. Okay. Uh, it's got the red and gold power extension cables, red and gold theme, paint work on the case. So that fan could have been a bit better. Maybe, you know, painted the uh, red. And maybe have some RGB fans on the uh, all-in-one, I guess. Yeah, the fans could have been RGB at least. All right, nice paint work. Decent enough. Uh, I'll probably give this a, I'll give this an 8 as well. Yeah. I'll give this an 8. Yeah. It's okay. Decent enough. Alright, moving on. See what else we have here. Uh, okay, let's start all in. Decent build. Oh, okay. Tower 900. See this Tower 900. This is a uh, this is a prime example of a Tower 900, which uh, has too much room. <laughs> look at the guys. Look at these little reservoirs at the bottom, <laughs> and this tube just goes up like that into the water block. That looks so odd. Uh, yeah, it's with a Tower 900. 900, you could do a lot more with this, uh, but this looks just I don't know looks half empty or half full <laughs> this one i'll just give it a 6.5 to be honest with you there's not much uh yeah there's not much modding or anything it's just and these reservoirs just look so look so puny inside this case i'll 6.5 for this one sorry all right moving on um we have this one here this one it looks pretty decent. A mini ITX build, built three, four years ago. Okay, so it's old. I wouldn't say old, but it's uh, it's not recent. But it looks decent. I like that little bend there. Uh, okay, a Viper RAM, accessible RAM, great. And you have to remember, this is a mini ITX build, so he's he's built it so that things are accessible. That's good. That's good. Green coolant, Razer themed. Got the razor kind of back plate for the graphics card there. Um, turquoise and black extension cables, which is unusual. Okay. Could have had some RGB fans there. For this one, though, I'll probably give it a. For the age, I'd say a couple of years old, right? Three, four years old. So I'll, I'll give it a, a seven. 7.5 7.5 for this one yeah all right okay moving on see what else we have this is a oh this is the antec striker case so i've i've got one of these uh, in my other room and um they are quite nice cases you know a bit if you built it up and you finish building up it, it looks a bit bulky which which is kind of strange because it's a mini itx um you know chassis it only fits a mini itx and you have see the graphics card in the front there so it's a uh, it is a compact but it's quite wide you see this this whole area here which is quite odd i don't know why they put that there um i guess it's for the radiators and the fans and things like that but it just i don't know it just makes it odd that it's quite wide but i, I do like the styling um fully built and i've seen people doing custom loops on this and it looks amazing uh all in one does okay so this is just a standard build i guess nothing huge 
Uh, I'll, I'll probably give us a, a seven. Yeah, I'll give us a seven. All right, moving on. Let's have a look where else we have here. Okay. This one, have we seen this one? I think we've seen this one before. All right, moving on. Uh, this is, is this one of these uh, LAN events? Local Con Expo, okay. Um, there's not many. We'll, we'll take a look through some of the uh, builds. I, I'm guessing this a couple of years ago, right? Because of the pandemic. So I'm not sure if this is like recent, but more than likely a couple of years, three, three years ago, maybe. Um, tower 900 there, massive. I'm starting to see a lot of the uh, graphics on the etching of the of the uh, tempered glass, and that's pretty decent. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually lasered etched uh, or you can actually get some uh, decals to put on there. It does make the system look decent. You know what? I do like these uh, Delta RGB Team Group T Force SSDs. Okay, I know they're SATA SSDs, right? But they're old dish. But the RGB ones look really nice. I quite like them. And the other one um, that are available are the HyperX versions. Uh, I'm guessing because of the speed uh, versus PCIe 4 now, Gen 4, um, they're not that popular now. But I do like how they glow. They are, of course, with the RGB. On this chassis, it's... Um, oh, wow. How much? $4,000? $4,800. Wow, <laughs> I'm guessing that's how much PCs cost these days, right? Custom, like built, and everything. Um, this one, not my style. Don't really like the uh, the triangular style PCs. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, I miss those days, you know, those uh, conference and uh, expos with all the uh, people displaying their builds and. I do miss those. And this one's a local one. It didn't say where, but I'll take a look anyway. This the Oh, look at this. Oh, it's oh, this is the Inwin case. Is this the Inwin case? Oh no 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 EVGA EVGA. This is the EVGA case. Chassis, open chassis. Uh that was released about a couple of years ago and um never really wasn't that popular probably because it was quite expensive carbon fiber you can see that trimmings there very nice once it's, and it's, and it's suspended on the uh this kind of uh, backboard back plate for the motherboard the guys added these uh um i don't know monitors temperature monitors and things like that voltage monitors seven thousand two hundred and fifty dollars what the hell <laughs> <laughs> oh my this is expensive reservoir at the top right here I, yeah radiator here at the top and then soft tubing though i would have had some hard tubing but uh, yeah this is one of those um cases that you haven't seen or where you you know you've seen them on the evga's website but you haven't actually seen any system built but well, this guy's built it and it's, if you want to buy it seven thousand 250. <laughs> uh, okay. What else can we see? Uh, is it the same one? Nothing. Okay, this is like a. Is this an in wing case? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's in wing D for a mini. How much? Have a guess how much, guys. Have a guess. Uh, yeah, have a guess. I'm guessing it'll probably be about 3,000. Let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's the expert in me. <laughs> I said approximately 3,000, and look at that, 3,250. I'm such, well, yeah, you know how how good I am. <laughs> yeah, what's in there? Ryzen 9, 1500X, uh, min ROG Strix Mini, yeah, okay, X570, EVGA 3080 Ti, so... Okay, not bad spec. Uh, remind you, this this uh, expo I'm guessing is probably about three years ago, you know, because of course the the pandemic and everything. So, um, love to see these uh, expos again. Love to go to some of these. All right, this one. 
Uh, does it say a price on there? Can I see? Oh, oh, just missed the price. I can't scroll up any further. Okay. Uh, well, it doesn't say the price, but I'm guessing it'll probably be about 5,000. But yeah, I've seen this one um, before. It's got the water loop in there. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a Sonic build. Oh, okay. The Sonic board. That's the same Sonic board I have. The uh, the B seven sixty PG um, Sonic, and it's got the Sonic uh, backplate there for the graphics card. Looking nice. Okay, so matching, you know, theme. Accessible RAM, all in one. The uh, the fan text there. Uh, I might give this a. I'm gonna give this an eight. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, that's the same system what we saw with the circular design backboard. Okay. Oh, uh, there you go. That's the Sonic one. Yeah, it's Sonic board. Very nice. I like that. And that gives me an idea. Maybe possibly the same board that we're gonna give away in our next live prize giveaway we'll see we'll see we'll see how this one does for today's show we'll see how popular the uh, prize giveaway is for today's show based on today's show i might announce something for next month all right the tech monkey okay las vegas okay oh that's the oh okay that's the company that did for this not the actual event okay all right yeah, I do miss these uh, conventions. They're, they're quite nice. You get to meet a lot of new uh, friendly faces and meet big people. Nice builds and stuff like that. All right, moving on back to the uh, prize giveaway. Uh, prize giveaway, the uh, mods of the week. Let's see some mods here. I don't want to play that. It'd be quite loud. We've seen a lot of uh, LCD little displays now that are put into systems. Uh, in fact, I've got one or two that I could put in just display monitor i mean the monitor the temperatures and and uh fan speeds and things like that all right okay oh it's a bit messy there let's we'll see some some mods here we'll take a look at this oh this is the uh, kingpin um graphics card hall of fame so i've always wanted one of these they're very hard to get hold of because it's not available in um, Europe or US. Uh, it has to be, you know, they're available in Asia, you know, Korea, Japan, uh, China, Hong Kong, stuff like that. But uh, I'm not, I have not seen it for sale, readily, you know, buy from retailers in um, in US, Canada, or uh, Europe. But uh, yeah, very, very exclusive kind of uh, graphics card. Very nice. You've got this uh, built-in LCD as well. Uh, that Built-in. I mean, you can get optional LCD. And that, that gives you all the monitors for monitoring the temperatures of the graphics card. Very nice. Though. Very expensive, by the way. The uh, Galax Hall of Fame graphics card there. Oh, what have I, what have I done there? What have I done? Clicked onto the uh, wrong page. All right, moving on, uh, scroll down, see what we have, where else we have. We've seen through these, yeah, we've clicked through those. Got a couple of mods I want to show. Sometimes uh, it doesn't come up. Facebook does its odd thing. I think I've seen that one yet before, nothing special. Oh, look at this one. Waterworld. Dual loop. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a look. <laughs> oh my word. There's a lot of distro plate on this thing. This thing is just distro plated. Right? Distro plated. Wow. Okay. Looks very, uh, I don't know. I think one display plate is enough, but having like one, two, three display plates all mounted onto this system looks a bit kind of odd. It's just too much. But mind you, with all these display plates, 
the the tubing must be a nightmare and the fittings that you need to buy to get all this working you you probably spend a lot on the fittings and the tubing than anything else well Rose says very expensive I, I guess so just on the fittings imagine each bit that you need to connect up I don't know it's just too much it might look some people might like it uh, uh, for me nah, it doesn't ring my bell I might give this um, for the effort I guess seven yeah it's a bit too much for me I don't think it's not it's, it isn't practical you know what I mean it's just yeah it's not practical it's weird okay let's have a look oh I like this one I think I've seen this one before yeah yeah from last time and also this one this kind of weird graphics card orientation get the kind of comes out of the case um this one is a mini ITX build I'm not sure if it's finished building though should we take a look this one he's doing some uh oh it's a oh it's a lamp these are like 3d printed parts you can tell they, they are could have painted something with it though okay it's got a dome on there oh so it's not a recent board it's an old board it looks like yeah you can tell it's an old board with the uh, printer port <laughs> and the ps2 keyboard and mouse connectors there it has a it has a it even has a com port oh poo it's gonna go back um it has it he even has a com port there look <laughs> it could have uh put in a nice mini itx system there a new newish one all right okay all right okay we'll uh skip that part oh it keeps on going back to the, the, the top of the page i hate that when it does that facebook what's going on <laughs> By the way, have you noticed Facebook, if you scroll through some of the stuff, they started playing videos and then you're watching the video and it started to play some ads. What the hell? I'm not paying, by the way, I'm not paying Facebook X amount of money per month. I mean, come on, it's meant to be free, right? Internet is meant to be free. I'm not paying like whatever amount. Okay. How God's legacy. I haven't seen this one, but uh, let's let's take a closer look. Let's take a closer look. It's uh Yeah. Harry Potter themed kind of style PC. But this one it's a book shape. And it's got all the intricate designs, lovely paintwork, and got the gold clasp there with the the, the lettering and the it looks really good. Oh, Seasonic, okay. Um love yeah, I love the uh the, the if it's a wood piece of wood, lovely woodwork. Painting as well with the gold, gold lettering and everything. Um with this kind of build you don't need RGB because it just spoils it. So this one is perfect as is can't really see the components i'd love to see it open and look at the components but you can see the graphics card in there this one's a geforce rtx uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's a 30 30 something but you got the uh, the graphics card in there that looks uh, very uh discreet inside but very nice nicely nice themed uh harry potter themed Yeah, Harry Potter themed uh, PC there. I'm going to give this a, a, a 9 because I haven't seen one of these before. Very unusual. Very nicely built. So, yeah, I'll give this a, a 9 for this one. All right, let's take a look further, see what we have. I will do two more. And I think I've seen these dual loops. Yeah, I've seen that one before. All right, so... I've seen that one from last time as well. And see what else is there. This one is a collection of different systems. 
mini ITX one there. So I think that's, that's all we have. We saw the pink one last time. Nice board. Yeah, I've seen these ones before. We'll take a look at the other group page, which is the um, Funky King Gadgets. And sometimes Rattle will also post some of the uh, the mods there as well. We'll take a look some see if there's any mods there. Oh, this is the uh, Quantum Computer. Mm. AI. AI. Oh, by the way, for the guys who haven't seen my uh, logo, uh, I'll show you that in a sec. But uh, take a look at this. This is uh, our new logo on the wall with the LED neon. It looks really nice. I'll have that set up in my other room once we move into the new place. And we'll have a man cave dedicated for our um, podcasts, live shows, and also our reviews and unboxing videos. There you go. <laughs> That's me last week. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. The funky kit logo, neon logo. Very nice. All right. Okay, let's have a look if there's any other mods there. I think no that's it okay let's head back to the uh the main extreme pc modding group all right so i think that's pretty much it uh, we'll 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 go we'll scroll through and see if we missed any and then after that we'll uh move on to the sh show i think that's pretty much it Sometimes the feeds on the on the Extreme PC model group is not that up to date. So if you want to see more mods, you can go back and check it out. Um, Extreme PC modding group. And uh, thanks to Rattle Row, who's been busy posting uh, mods there to keep up to date. And also other people's mods as well. They, they'll start posting their, their mods. Also, because I saw funky IT. Yes. <laughs> well, if you look at the, um, the the K and the I and the T, it's in orange, right? So it's a it's an almost an optical illusion. It's not meant to be just funky IT. It's funky kit. You'll see that on the uh, on the on the uh, neon logo, which is uh, interesting. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I've seen all these other mods that we have on the on the uh, group. I mentioned that last time with the uh, mineral oil. And uh, yep, that's it. So we'll call it uh, a day for the uh, Extreme PC Modern Group, our Mods of the Week. So again, thank you for guys for joining and participating. And uh, of course, keep up the good work. Uh, Extreme PC Modern Group where we have over 94,000 members. Our next target is 100,000 members, and we'll do a live special show. Again, some extra prize giveaway uh, for that as well. All right, thank you. Let's move on to the next part. Let's head over to the main page and take a look. Hey, guys, welcome to the show. Guys, thank you for participating, and thank you for uh, joining the show today. Uh, Funky Q Show live on the 24th of February. For you guys who've just joined, um, head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit and subscribe. For a chance to win the uh, MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk uh, Wi-Fi motherboard, and uh, we have it right here. This is available only uh, for so Twitch subscribers. All right, so if you're not a subscriber on Twitch, head over to Twitch.tv/funkykit and subscribe, and uh, head over to the chat section, join the chat, and type in the command for a chance to win this. Available only for our Twitch subscribers. It's a premium prize. To say thank you for subscribing all right so that uh, is what we're happening today and have a look at the uh yeah we've got about 40 minutes left so let that run for a bit next up so we've done the uh news announcements on our website as well as the mb3d uh we also did the unboxing video of the asus tough gaming b650 plus wi-fi motherboard 
uh, we looked at the rig builder, our system configurator developed by my brother. Yeah, fantastic tool. We get some pr uh, prices of Amazon. And of course, we've got mods of the week. We just finished uh, taking from our extreme PC morning group where we have uh, over 95,000 members or 94,000 members. And a great place to get some morning ideas. Or if you have any mods that you want to post, head over there. Start posting your mods. Right, so we're going to take a quick break. And after that, we've got some more topics, including the uh, motherboards. The new motherboards now supporting um 48 96 and 192 gigabytes of ram which is interesting and then we're going to do uh the prize giveaways for our website and uh, live show so enjoy the break and we'll be back after this welcome no 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 just do it again do it huh yeah do what do you want to do just walk through and then that was the tent oh okay Welcome to Funky Kid. Come next, 2018. Right, we'll start. Yeah, and this one is HUV. Asrock. You can see the insane video right speed of the curveball. It's a super kind of long uh, mining model. Cooler Master. So this is something that I wanted to see Cooler Master do last year. And you have Cougar. For people who want a really top <laughs> end compartment. Gandhias. We have a secret compartment here. Do you know what super much it is? Scalable, new socket, Intel, fuel thermal tank. It's like a jet pack. It looks, yeah, right? Whoa. <laughs> Uh, our next meeting with with, with, with D Cool. Wow. See that? <laughs> 8 8 uh, XPG. Things to the motherboard. You can actually control all its different LEDs, different colors, and cryo ring. What you have to do is just. I'm now so tired. Using the 3M coolant, the special liquid for this uh, immersion cooling. Shut up, you speaker system! MSI. 49 inch monitor, super wide, epic gear. Oh, the super loose RGB thing. Yeah, that's the one I reviewed last time. G skill, Trident Z Royal, in win. So this one has a working system inside. Ryzen Tech dual frame, so you can see there's a gap there. You can put all your ROG Asus boot. So while live streaming, using a camera uh, on the phone, yeah. while playing Lian Lee. So here's it in action, and we're at the end. I like this. Look, look at all the LEDs on it. Look at this, we're straight on. Oh, check that out. Yeah, so you can attach these uh, little Mac Horses 3 from the software. I can control the lighting effects from the keyboard, mice, headset. With the EK, high pressure disconnect. So you just put it in and then kind of push it in, and that's it. <laughs> EVGA. So is shipping today. Uh, 1600 watts, titanium rated. It's basically wow. your highest end power supply. And it weighs a ton. Think about it. Check the back of this out. It's got this whole hyper sync with each other so that uh, all the RGB uh, will go in effect with the same thing. Patriot 4123. Wow, okay, cool. Every year coming back and we have some new stuff from Noctua. Fantech. Whoa, no way! Check that out! Rocket. So this is 120. Alpha cool. What the, the hell is that? Anything oh my god, it's a... Ah, it's powerful. Yeah, you can see that water, water going through. And then Max Proof is a limited edition again, in all in white. Clef, Proof, new model for the gaming module. We're back again, Computech 2018, and three years later. Yes, yes. Dot com. Right. Kit. 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 Dot com. Welcome. No, 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 just do it again. Do it huh? Again. Yeah, do it again. What do you want to do? Just walk through and then... That was the tent. Do it again. Oh, okay. All right, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that short little break. It's what we do. Yeah, live shows, reviews, system builds, and things like that. So hopefully we will be back at Computex uh, this year in uh, end of May. And uh, we'll be doing some live coverage as well as podcasts and uh, live interviews and things like that. So can't wait. All right. So for you guys just uh, join the show, welcome to the show, the Funky Show Live. And uh, today on a live show, we're giving away the uh, MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard uh, for our Twitch subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber already, head over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe for a chance to win the MSI. B650 
650 Tomahawk Wi Fi on the board. We've got one of these to give away for our Twitch subscribers. All right. I can see all the entries. That's great. Thank you for participating. And we've got about a half hour left, roughly. So uh, we'll announce the winner then. Okay. Next up, we have. Let's talk about motherboards. So, <clears throat> motherboards uh, have announcements. Here we go. We're just going to give you some uh, news announcements on this motherboards. Here we go. Let's bring up the website here. ASRock Intel 700 and 600 series on motherboards now support memory capacities of up to 192 gig. All right. So, these are the announcements. I think they're available now for all the uh, 700 series Intel and also 600 series Intel as well. And I think just a BIOS update will will uh, allow you to take the capacities. And that gives us a question. Are we seeing uh, 12 gigabytes of RAM in one module? Normally we see eight, right? Or 16. So we're going to see 12 gigabytes modules. You need two of them to give you that's 24. No, actually you need 24. 24 gig modules you need two of them to give you 48 and the other one is 48 gig modules two of them to give you 96 and the highest capacity would be 96 gig modules two of them to give you 192 that's crazy right <laughs> um how will that improve performance i'm not sure but of course more memory does help improve windows performance and if you run a lot of uh you know windows if you do a lot of video editing like me and photoshop and any of the high intensity memory intensity intensive uh applications i think that will help uh but it's odd odd seeing 24 gig modules um because as far as i know it's always been 8, 16, 32, 64, right? Now we're going to see 48, 96, 182, which is quite strange. Um, but we'll see. If I do have any uh, samples from the reviewers or vendors, then uh, I will take a look at those with the new BIOS update. That'll work. <laughs> Something's changed <laughs> with my voice, Winston. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Maybe I need a glass of uh, or a cup of uh, coffee to. Uh... <clears throat> How does that sound now? Do I sound a bit more? Yeah. <laughs> Break it twin. To have 192 gig, you'll need uh, 48 gig per stick, right? Uh, 42. Yeah, 48 gig sticks times four. That'll give you 192. Yeah, which is odd. Uh, yeah, which is quite strange. I've never seen that before. But um, 192 gig though. But that, the Asrock's not the only one. Um, we'll probably see Asus, MSI, and Gigabyte uh, making these announcements real soon. Yeah, probably be a price premium for that as well. Um, not sure, but definitely something that uh, you could look into in the future towards uh, I mean I think this year and possibly next year we'll see um, motherboards taking these capacities of RAM uh, as a natural course of progression I guess Aries 25 imagine the cost per stick yeah <laughs> we've only just moved on to DDR5 well last year and this year um, so we'll uh, we'll see how that goes all right, let's have a look at the chat and see what's going on. Guys, welcome to the show, the Funky Geek Show Live, where today we're giving away the MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard for all our Twitch subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber already, head over to twitch.tv slash funkygeek and subscribe for a chance to win this motherboard live on our show today. By the way, you can see the uh, Funky Kit uh, logo. See that there, right there? I haven't switched on because I think when I switched on, it was quite bright and it doesn't come up. But if you want to check it out, um, what it looks like, I've uh, got it on our website, I think. Or is it on our 
There you go. Yeah, I think I got it on our website or actually on the Facebook page. It looks really nice. These custom logos, I think you can get them from um, AliExpress. I think eBay does them as well as um, Amazon. They cost roughly, depending on the size, roughly between 60, 70 to 100 ish dollars. It'll look good on the wall. So if you have anything that you want to put on the wall, that'll look good. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's uh, talk about some of the stuff that we've done in the past. So if you want to head over to uh, the YouTube channel of Funky Kit, you'll see we've done uh, unboxing videos on the ASRock B650E PG ITX board. Now, um, we're waiting for the review from Bart. He'll be finishing the written review on this. But if you want to check out the unboxing, it's available right now on our YouTube channel. We also did the unboxing of the Vault Me Revo. 140 it's a power uh, power delivery 3.1 uh, gallium nitride charger that allows you to uh, power up your laptop using the usb power delivery very nice compact great for traveling we also did the um, asrock uh, z790 pg itx tp4 motherboard uh, again i love mini itx boards and uh, you can check out the unboxing video on that uh, the written review again will be done by bart and that'll be in a couple of weeks uh, we did the uh, chassis from Thermaltic, the Series 500, tempered glass, ARGB, very nice chassis, plenty of room for putting components and um, plenty of room for cooling as well. comes with three, no, in fact, actually four, 140 millimeter fans, RGB fans, very nice. We also did the uh, ASRock Z790 Live Mixer um, Rebox video, <laughs> okay. I tried this uh, reboxing format. It didn't quite work that well. Meaning, um, we did the build as usual, but we re re reversed the order of how an unboxing video would be. So we did a reboxing video, and it didn't work that well. <laughs> a bit more editing and kind of like didn't go with the flow. So, but if you want to watch it, there it is the Z790 Live Mixer. Uh, there's a couple of other reviews that we done on unboxings uh, the mouse we also did the uh the strix z790e gaming this is a very decent board i, I really like it i like it yeah uh and then the, what 35 dollars can get you this uh, argb fan with rgb strips as well as the controller um all for 35 dollars from Ye yan and then don't forget the uh, sonic hedgehog uh motherboard from asrock the z Sorry, the B760M. It's a micro ATX board, but it's very nice with the uh, Sonic theme. And the mechanical keyboard with the uh, Notua colors. <laughs> uh, Macchiato white, they call it. They're very nice. Mini, mini board. I think it's about 60, 65% or 60% size. Uh, these boards are getting popular now. Um, reason why is probably desk space. And you don't need the cursor keys or any of the number pads so you just need a mini kind of keyboard that'll fit in your, uh, your desk so yeah if you missed uh, on any of the shows you can go back and check out some of the live shows that we've done in the past week a couple of weeks there yeah and then of course our podcast show with Stephen and i so Stephen has been in the it industry for many many years and uh we've teamed up to do the podcast and this is on our fourth season yes fourth season go please go ahead and subscribe and check out some of the topics we've done plenty of topics including gaming uh, environmental we did a fishing show we did ev shows uh, we talked about some of the the product launches from amazon google and samsung uh, we did the episode with uh, Taiwan, a tech industry, a tech capital of the world, um, and Chat GPT, which is the hot topic of uh, of late. So check out some of the podcasts that we've done with Stephen and I. Very interesting topics there. Go and check it out and please subscribe. And by the way, for you guys who just uh, joined and want to win the prize, the prize giveaways in states, states, uh, requires you to subscribe as well so make sure that you subscribe to our twitch channel okay head over to twitch.tv slash funky kit and subscribe 
And also subscribe to our podcast. Click on a link to subscribe to our podcast. You can follow me as well, of course. And uh, I think we've got about 20 minutes left. Yeah, 20 minutes left. Guys, hurry up. Head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit and subscribe for a chance to win this fantastic motherboard, which we're giving away today, live on our show for our Twitch subscribers. Don't forget to follow us and subscribe to our podcast as well. So if you want to head over to, let me just type in the link for you guys, because you need to subscribe to our podcast as well, because uh, I want you guys to enjoy the podcast. All right. Okay. Let's have a good chat and see what's going on. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for uh, participating in our show today. Mr. Mastodox. No, it's not US only. It's international. It's available for you guys in the US, Canada, Europe, whoever joins uh, and a subscriber of Twitch, our Twitch channel on our channel. Head over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe and you'll be in for a chance to win this. All right. So it's not region specific. It's worldwide. You just need to be live on our show as well to claim the prize. Okay. And um, I just want to show you some of the items that we'll be receiving next week. Uh, Azrock have actually reached out to us and asked, hey, do you want a graphics card? I said, hell oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. And uh, they've actually will be uh, sending me a graphics card. So I'm not sure which graphics card they're going to be sending me. I'm, I, I did request last year that I wanted a RX 7900 XT or XTX. If they send me one of those, I'll be very happy because I want to see the uh, performance comparison between this and my 3090. I haven't got a 4080 or 4090 as yet. Um, I'm not going to get one of those until unless someone sends it to me. But anyway, if they send me the RX 7900 series, whether it's the XTX or XT, I'm happy with both then great, we can actually do a full review, unboxing, and all of sorts of testing as well. And we'll let you know how the performance compares to the RTX 3090, right? That's what I have right now. Um, but if they send me this thing here, this Intel Arc A7070 or 770 <laughs> 8 gigabytes, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to, am I going to be happy with it? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be happy with it. But uh, I'm not going to see the performance. Apparently, based on recent posts from Intel, it's uh, it's perfect for DX9 games. It will boost performance on your DX9 games. <laughs> but we're on DX12, by the way. I'm not sure if they've been living in the cave or something. But hey, we're on DX12. Hello. Uh, you know, and also we have uh, with DXR as well. With the ray tracing so <laughs> i'm not sure where they've been i guess people who are still on dx9 but uh, that's like way back like five years ago right <laughs> or, or more so hello intel you got to keep up with the times man i don't know but uh i'm hoping i won't be getting this uh, we'll see it might turn out to be good i don't know it might support DXR, the ray tracing. If it doesn't support DXR, then I'm not sure why they would bother, right? The ray tracing. So I'm hoping to get one of these two, either one. That would be fantastic, would be. And uh, we'll see. And the other thing I'll be getting is this. This one here. This is a two-port dual monitor KVM switch with HDMI and display port. It supports up to 4K 60 hertz, which is okay, which I don't have any 4K monitors, but I do have um, 1080p and also have the 1440. And it does support that as well, no problem. And the reason why, of course, I need one of these is because now I have several systems which I need to be uh, switch over during testing, for example. I could just switch a button. And of course, if I do streams, I could switch between the two. I want to see how this one works. And this one, I like this one because it has the display port as well as HDMI. So 
with nowadays with the newer graphics cards and also um, some of the laptops you have display ports you can actually use that and display port actually gives you a higher resolution or a faster refresh rate support so that's why display ports are better for computer related um, you know products and stuff like that versus just a TV or one of those media boxes uh, which support 1080p 10 1080p 4k which is fine all right so that's what I'll be getting in the next week or so so I'll let you know how this one feels and works functionality and options and features and of course the ASRock graphics card which they haven't told me which one though so I'm, I'm hoping the RX 70 900 series um, if you gave me this one then, well I'll just take a look at it and see how it goes all right okay so guys thank you for joining uh, this is the Funky show live where we'll be giving away live today on our show uh, the MSI mag b650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard for all our Twitch subscribers. So if not a subscriber or Twitch on our channel, head over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe for a chance to win the MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard. Giving away one of these live on our show today to one lucky winner for a Twitch subscriber. Head over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe. Okay. Other news, um, other prize giveaways, I should say. Uh, we also have this one right now live on our website. This is available for everybody. You don't need to be a Twitch subscriber for this one. So this one we're giving away the ASRock uh, B660, B660M Steel Legend Motherboard. And this one is available for everybody. All right. All you need to do is head over to the, uh, the link let me just type in the link and uh, you'll be able to win one of these closing date on the 28th of February and uh, this one is a micro ATX board supports all the latest Intel 13th and 14th gen processors supports DDR4 RAM up to 5000 speeds and available right now to enter on our website again all you need to do is subscribe Watch a couple of videos, follow us, and things like that. Closing date on 28th of Feb. And we're giving one of these away, the uh, B660M Steel Legend Motherboard. Available for everybody to join. So, plenty of prize giveaways each and every month. And we have prize giveaways each and every week as well. So, make sure you subscribe and tune in for our show every Friday. Okay, let's see how the uh, prize giveaway is coming up. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, all right, so all the entries are in. Let me just type that in and uh, put all the names in. Guys, if you're not a uh, subscriber already, head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit and subscribe. This prize giveaway is only available for our Twitch subscribers. It's a premium prize. And it's just to say thank you for subscribing to our Twitch channel. Okay. Just putting the names in there. Okay, looks like uh, all the names are in, and I think we have just about everyone in there. All right, almost done. Guys, I'll give you five more minutes, okay? Five more minutes. Head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit, subscribe. And type in the command for a chance to win the MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard. Available only for our Twitch subscribers. You have five minutes left and then that will be it. Okay, it's looking good, it's looking good. Fantastic. 
Fantastic. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the show, the Funky Show Live, where today we'll be giving away live on our show the MSI Mag B650 Tomhawk Wi Fi motherboard for our Twitch subscribers. If you're not a subscriber already, head over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe for a chance to win this fantastic motherboard, only available live on our show today. And make sure you um, subscribe to our podcast as well. Don't forget, our podcast is here. Let me just type in the uh, the command. Oh, let's see, command. It's the podcast show where we have lots of interesting shows on our podcast with Stephen and I each and every Wednesday. So um, coming up uh, this next Wednesday, yeah, next Wednesday, we will have another show uh, with all the sci-fi shows, or recent sci-fi shows, I should say. Uh, we'll be talking about Last of Us and The Boys. I've, I didn't realize how good it was. I thought, oh no, it's one of those cheesy kind of rip-off of superheroes, uh, anti-heroes or villains, whatever. And I didn't realize how good it was. It's not for your, you know, teenager uh, kids kind of uh, superhero kind of TV series. This is adult themed. This is like blood and guts, swearing, uh, stuff that you don't normally see for, you know, it's not suitable for kids. That's what I'm saying. It's a fantastic show. Uh, I'm quite surprised and uh, I quite like it. It's uh, gory, <laughs> very gory. Um but yeah, I'm waiting for the next season, season four. Can't wait. Um, and the other recent shows, uh, podcast, uh, the I think Picard, Picard, uh, season three. So I think that's going to be the last season where Picard will be doing their, uh, you know, Star Trek series. Uh, it's not too bad. It's, if you're a Star Trek fan, you'll love it. If you're not, then you know it's okay. And Stranger Things. Um, I'm not sure when the next season will be, but everybody's heard of. Stranger Things, and that's, that's a fairly decent kind of 80s throwback, uh, sci-fi kind of thing. I like that. And um, yeah, I can't wait. But Last of Us is really good. I mean, they've taken the um, the game, right? The game footage, and you it's, I won't say it's a 100% match, but it's so accurate almost, you know? And I love the way that they did it. And it's it's not a zombie film, by the way. It's not a zombie film. It's infected, and oh, it's really good. Go watch it. Go watch it. Okay, so we'll be talking about that, all those topics, um, in our podcast show for next Wednesday. So that's why you need to subscribe to our podcast because it is a great, sh you know, show podcast show with Stephen and I. Lots of topics, and uh, make sure you subscribe right now. There it is. The link's there. <laughs> All right. Okay, so uh, I'm going to count down to five, and I'll be... Um, I'll count down to five. Yeah, we should count down to five. So the entries will be uh, finished now. So thank you for participating, guys. Uh, again, this is only available for Twitch subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber of Twitch, unfortunately, you won't be able to enter. Um, reason why is because uh, we have some premium prizes uh, available for Twitch subscribers. It's a way to say thank you for subscribing. Um, so maybe if you miss this one, there's plenty of other prizes for next month. Again, based on this one, I think we will do the Sonic Hedgehog. See a little, see a little one there, right there. Oh, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one. <laughs> In the background, you see that Sonic <laughs> motherboard right there. Uh, this one, right? Here. Yeah, yeah. This one will be given away maybe next month. All right. But anyway, so thank you for participating. Uh, it's been a pleasure. And um, thank you for subscribing as well. So we will um, close the entries now. So uh, based on the entries, we have a couple of names just come in. Oh, wow. <laughs> Last minute, last minute entries. <laughs> last minute entries. Let me let me update those entries. Last minute entries. <laughs> wow. Okay. Here we go. 
and uh, let's put those names in there. Yep, just put those names in there. Make sure they're all in there. Here you go. I think that's right. Here you go. So, all right, so we're going to close the, uh, the prize giveaway now. So, thank you for participating and thank you for uh, subscribing. And uh, I'm going to put these names in there now. Okay. Okay, in there. There you go. All right, so based on the entries, we have Pizza Rex. Uh, is it Tartar Luke? Uh, Dragonoma, T Town Scott, Kirk 1000, Pig Radio, Venue, Jerick, Scumberg, uh, Mr. Master Docs, JD, Brigitte Twin, uh, Sweetie Balls, Bazula, Agnon, Rich, Arca Richie, I, Grandparents, Rat Row, Aries 25, and Sea of Names. So, thank you guys for subscribing and thank you for participating in our prize giveaway. We're gonna put these names in and uh. We're going to make the announcement, of course. Our usual announcement. When it comes to live prize giveaways, yeah. this guy is a beast. Winston Chim and Funky Kid. That's right. That's right. Prize giveaways live on our show for our Twitch subscribers. Thank you for participating. And today, yes, live on our show, we're giving away the uh, uh, MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk Waffle under the board. Live on our show today for our Twitch subscribers. Thank you, guys for subscribing and participating and let's head over to the uh the net here the wheel decide yes that's right we need to do the wheel sign here we go all names in there and all i need to do now is hit the uh um countdown are you ready guys are you ready let's go let's go get down down to five and hit the wheel decide here we go five four three Two, wow. one. Here we go. 20 second spin. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Winner. Winner. Me Messi. Mag P650. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. 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 What? Big radio. Well done. Awesome. Oh my god, take a screenshot. Unbelievable. It's totally out of my control and it's the wheel decide. And hey, take a screenshot, Pig Radio. You are the winner of the uh, MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk Wi Fi motherboard. Congrats. Congrats. Oh my god. You've been winning. You've been lucky. You've been winning a lot of stuff. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So uh, send me your uh, full name, shipping address, and telephone number to media at funky.com. And uh, of course, with the screenshot there um, so that you can uh, claim your prize. So thank you for participating. But wait, for you guys who just missed out, we've got something extra special for you. Okay. You don't have to be a subscriber to Twitch. Uh, we're going to give away, of course, we give away stuff every week. Um, some funky kid merchandise all right so what do you want to win let's do, let's do a quick poll and decide on what you want to win okay so let's do a quick poll the poll has started right now uh, available to win and this is open to everybody you don't need to be a subscriber and uh, we have for you guys these things to win all right we got a baseball cap we got a uh, mug we got a jacket, t-shirt, hoodie, string bag, the uh, mouse mat flip-flops, and these are available to buy right now at streamlabs.com slash funky slash merch, okay? Uh, any proceeds will help us run the show, so thank you in advance. These are available to buy right now at uh, streamlabs.com slash funky kit slash merch, and uh, make sure you do that. Uh, send a link to your friends, family members, whatever. Um, again, anything you buy will help us run the show. All the pre-seeds will help us run the show. So thank you in advance. So these are available to buy right now. But uh, for our price giveaway today, for everybody, 
uh, who's missed out on the other prize giveaways, this is open to all. Uh, type in the command that you, well, depending on the item that you want to win, and uh, choose the item, and we'll be giving one of these away. All right, so let's take a look, and uh, looks like the hoodie is in popular demand. <laughs> and uh, we will give one of these away right now. So let's do that right now. And this is, again, open to all. You don't have to be a subscriber. Just all you need to do is head over to uh, twitch.tv slash give us a follow and join the chat. And uh, we're giving away a funky hoodie. All right, let's type in the commands. And uh, let's do my little... Uh, uh, authenticator code we need one of those to get the uh, transaction through here we go and uh, oh, here we go. by the way each time I give one of these away it's uh, my own pocket right it's coming out of my own pocket but it's fine because I want you guys to enjoy the show all right because it's this show this whole thing it's not possible without you guys so thank you all right, the price giveaway has started. We're giving away a funky hoodie for everybody and for those who've just missed out on the uh, price giveaway live on our show. And we're giving away a, a funky hoodie. Yeah, please go ahead and join. Head of twitch.tv slash funky kit. Type in the command for a chance to win a funky kit hoodie. <laughs> All right. So I'll just quickly take a look at the... Uh, here we go. A funky hoodie. What does it look like? Well, here we go. We got them in the black, um, the pink. And the navy blue is the original color there. We also have it in the uh, sports gray and also white. Okay. I've actually got the navy color. Um, I'm, I might go for the sports gray. That's decent enough. I've seen people wearing the pink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, funky hoodie is what we're giving away today on our show. Uh, for everybody, yeah, just all you need to do is head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit, give us a follow, and type in the command for a chance to win the uh, Funky Kit hoodie. All right. So that's going to run for about three minutes, so we've got plenty of time for you guys. Go ahead. <laughs> so I mentioned earlier that um, we'll be getting a graphics card from ASRock, so hopefully we'll see what type it is. I'm hoping the RX uh, 7900 series, so one of those would be fantastic. Uh, or it could be the Intel version, <laughs> optimized for DX9. <laughs> DX9. Well, yeah, okay, fair enough. We'll see anyway. Um, but also the uh, TestSmart uh, two-port HDMI plus DP port uh, KVM switch. I need one of those because I've got two monitors and I'm, I'm not using them both, but I'd love to see um how they work uh, with the, the systems running the test rig running the laptop running i gotta switch between those as well fantastic i can't wait and then uh we will also be getting some new items from probably gigabyte some stuff from msi i've seen um uh, the msi router the msi router that, that looks really good some uh, gaming router from msi but we'll see what we can get from msi and the Zeus, as usual, their products have always been, you know, pretty good, high end, and also very good quality, but also pricey. Some some items are quite pricey, some of the products, but we'll see what they have. But uh, I, I'm working on with some of the, the vendors to get um, a sponsored trip to uh, Computex. So once I get that confirmed, I can't wait, then I can plan that ahead and gets a, a really good live show at the event in, in uh, Computex and also do a, um, you know, podcasts and other things. Love to see that all happening. All right. We have about a minute left. Can't wait. On the prize giveaway. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as podcasts. Plenty of podcast uh, topics on our, on our YouTube channel there with Stephen and I. Um, next week, we'll be talking about the shows, the TV shows, the sci-fi sh uh, TV shows that we recently uh, watched, including uh, the Picard's new season and also The Boys 
and The Last of Us. Yeah. yeah. So interesting show there uh, with uh, Stephen and I for our podcast. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, the link is in the chat, but I'll, I'll also mention it in the uh, in the uh, ch- comment section as well. And uh, the prize giveaway. Let's talk about that. Uh, for next month's prize giveaway, I've decided. Yes, I've decided. We're going to give away the uh, Sonic. The Sonic. Um, see that in the background there? This one right there. The Sonic uh, Motherboard from Azra. We're going to give one of these away. We're going to give away the... Uh, the B760M Sonic Wi-Fi motherboard for our next live prize giveaway uh, next month available for Twitch subscribers only yes so you have lots of benefits of being a subscriber you get some premium prizes are only available right here on our live show so we'll uh, give one of those away next month for our live show for our Twitch subscribers Sonic Wi-Fi yes we'll do that I'll make the announcement later on after the show. Okay, so looks like the prize giveaway is ended. Um, I'm going to pick a winner. Are you ready? All right. Prize giveaway for all those who've missed out uh, on the on the big prize giveaway and also is available for everybody to join. We're giving away the uh, Funky Kit hoodie. And let's pick a winner from Streamlabs. Streamlabs will pick a winner. A, a random pinner winner. So here we go. Count on the five. Five. Four, three, two, one. And the winner is going to be... Pizza X. Well done. Woo-hoo. Awesome. 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 Hey, uh, all you need to do now is click on that link and claim your prize. So thank you guys for participating and uh, it's been a fantastic show. Don't forget, we have a premium prize uh, once a month at the end of the month and um, this month uh, today's show we give away the uh, MSI mag b650 a tomahawk Wi-Fi with the board and uh, yes <laughs> you are the winner big radio <laughs> and for next month uh, I've decided we're going to be giving away the asrock uh, b760 M Sonic Wi-Fi with the board, and that's suitable for the 12th and 13th gen processors from Intel. Okay, and uh, of course, each and every week we have live price giveaways um, for our viewers, some funky merchandise, some random items as well. So don't forget to tune in each and every week. All right. So thank you uh, for the show. Uh, it's it's been fantastic, and thank you for the participating and joining. Uh, it's you guys that make the show worth it. Until next time. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next Friday at the the Funky Show Live. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.